NASA engineers are puzzled by the unexpected data sent back from interstellar space by the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Is it the answer to the message Voyager 1 sent to aliens 45 years ago? If we believe some serious scientists, we have really received the first message from an extraterrestrial intelligence. Or the confusing data comes from a completely new force of nature that will change our picture of the universe forever. It's probable that hardly any of you can remember the launch of the Voyager 1 probe, because it was quite a while ago. In 1977, this spacecraft, along with its brother Voyager 2, set out on its journey. The goal? Actually, just to explore the outer planets. Voyager 1 and 2 were constructed in a rush. A favorable planetary constellation offered a unique opportunity to send probes to Jupiter, Saturn, and the outer planets in an extremely shortened time. Both probes are simple, no larger than a fiat, and would be constructed roughly like a tape recorder compared to a computer today. Five years would be required for the primary mission of the two, and by then researchers were happy to see them survive launch and get underway. Voyager 1 took the course directly through the asteroid belt. The danger was large to lose the probe thereby, and therefore one sent a second identically constructed probe on the way. If Voyager 1 survived the passage, this would have been a proof that such flight routes for technical probes are also possible later. Voyager 1 survived the passage through the asteroid belt without problems. It reached Jupiter, then Saturn, and flew on and on. The probe has now been traveling in space for more than 45 years, and it was the first man-made object to enter interstellar space. For the first time, scientists held in their hands measurement data from an area they had seen thousands of times through their telescopes but never could they guess how the great blackness of the cosmos was really composed. I'll say it in advance, the measurement results shocked the scientific community because they had not expected this. Message to Extraterrestrials Would you believe me if I told you that in 1977, nobody knew for sure if there were aliens in the solar system? Well, it's so. Because Voyager 1 and 2 in 1977 each carried a golden record known as the Voyager Golden Records. These records were designed to represent life and culture on Earth to possible alien civilizations. No one knew for sure at the time if there weren't alien spaceships traveling somewhere to our doorstep or if any of the moons in the solar system were inhabited. At that time, researchers may have hoped or suspected that Voyager 1 and 2 would fly further and further out into the universe after their original mission. In several tens of thousands of years, the two will reach the first neighboring solar systems. Imagine that! A flying object built by us currently needs thousands of years to get to the closest stars. The distances in space are really gigantic, and mostly, we overlook that fact. We know, thanks to Hubble and James Webb images of the most remote regions in the universe. From Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system, we know all the scientific details but we would never be able to reach these places. Even Voyager 1 and 2, little lightweight probes, would probably take more than 20,000 years to make a flying visit. If they are once found and investigated by a civilization in the universe, these beings will encounter the two golden disks. Both disks are designed like records and are 12 inches in diameter. They are covered with a protective aluminum sleeve engraved with the noble gas uranium-238 to mark the time span of our civilization. Further included is a needle and simple instructions in symbolic drawings explaining how to play the record. The contents of the plates have been carefully selected to convey a broad spectrum of our human world. They include greetings in 55 different languages, natural sounds from Earth such as thunder, birdsong, and the sound of waves, and a selection of musical pieces from different cultures and eras, from classical music to rock and roll. Another 115 images encoded with a special code show different aspects of life on Earth. People, animals, artwork, and scientific diagrams. Now you may be wondering what kind of answer we'll possibly have in 30,000 years or more. Well, we may already have that answer without even realizing it. The Mystery of Interstellar Space Before Voyager 1 and 2 crossed the magical boundary of the heliosphere, no one knew exactly where our sun's sphere of influence ends and where space properly begins. 
The sun is the massive glowing furnace at the center of the solar system, constantly blowing charged particle streams from the sun into space. These currents and the sun's magnetic force form a complex stellar ecosystem, the heliosphere. Without these currents and the atmosphere that the sun forms with them, we would have no heat on our planet and we would be defenseless against the radiation of the cosmos. In this way, the sun wraps all planets in a protective shell. At some point, many billions of kilometers away from the sun, the particle streams get lost. They encounter the interstellar medium, the vast black empty space between stars and star systems. For a long time, it was a mystery where this sphere of influence of the solar streams ends and where the sphere of influence of interstellar space begins. Since August 25th, 2012, researchers know more because on that day, Voyager 1 was the first spacecraft to break through the heliosphere and enter interstellar space. Our Sun's sphere of influence did not end abruptly, however, and not at all as scientists had imagined. Rather, solar currents seemed to extend far into the cosmos. It was not until more than two years later, on December 15, 2014, that the measurement data provided further evidence that Voyager 1 had indeed entered interstellar space, and there the next shock awaited the scientists. First, Voyager 1 became completely disoriented in interstellar space. Crazy data initially triggered confusion. Some thought it was a possible message sent by some alien force. The codes were strange, very strange, and while some thought they had to be deciphered, others saw in the data simply a defect. A few scientists dared to say aloud that there might be hitherto unknown life forms in the empty space of the universe, or that communication streams of extraterrestrial species were gliding through empty space like radio waves. Voyager 1 could have detected these currents and sent a message, so to speak. Were we too stubborn and maybe just too inexperienced to understand them? You can probably already guess that the conservative scientists have prevailed once again. And officially, there was no mysterious message, but an error in the communication systems that determined Voyager 1's position in space. The source of the faulty data is said to have been the so-called Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS for short. NASA already feared for the future of the probe. Voyager 1 had become decrepit, which was the official explanation. But then, the defect could be corrected and the data stream was normal again. Whether now the repair work carried out from the Earth brought the success or whether the strange message from the empty space was simply passed, scientists argue once again. More strange data Shortly after this shock, scientists had to deal with data they had not expected. Voyager 1 reported a strange force from interstellar space, which should not exist there. Thereby, it possibly concerns a further elementary force, which we do not know of so far. Now, of course, scientists hope that Voyager 1 and 2 will be operational for a while longer and provide lots more data from interstellar space. Most of the technical equipment of the probes has been switched off for years, and only the most essential measuring equipment, which can detect particle currents or magnetic and electric forces, still registers any change, no matter how small, in the path of the probe. The mission continues. When Voyager 1 was launched aboard a Titan III launch vehicle from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on September 5, 1977, no one imagined that 45 years later, contact with the probe would still be ongoing. The Voyager twins have become dear to NASA and the hundreds of people who work with them. Many a scientist or control center employee has spent nearly a lifetime following Voyager 1 and 2's journey. The images of Jupiter taken by Voyager 1 in January 1979 are still considered groundbreaking today. Because of the better photographic resolution made possible for the first time by an even closer approach, the Jovian moons were visible for the first time. The fine dust rings appeared before the eyes of researchers for the very first time, and magnetic fields and radiations never before suspected could be determined. In 1980, Voyager 1 provided unique images of complex formations in Saturn's rings, and the instruments analyzed the atmospheres of Titan and Saturn for the first time. Following these successes, engineers expanded the mission's objectives to include two more major planets, Uranus and Neptune. Together, the two spacecraft explored 48 moons, four planets, a variety of planetary magnetic fields, and numerous planetary rings. 
even its home, the then very distant planet Earth. The probe snapped like no vehicle before. The image, which shows the Earth as a pale blue dot in the darkness of the cosmos, is considered one of the best in the history of space travel. It was taken on February 14, 1990, and was the last image taken before the probe's camera systems were shut down to save power. It was almost like a final look back, with Voyager 1 saying goodbye and setting off on a long journey to an unknown destination. In space and engineering circles, the two probes are legends and scientists involved find it hard to imagine life without Voyager 1 and 2. If all goes well, the two space pioneers will remain accessible until the end of the decade. In the meantime, it takes more than two days for a signal from the probes to reach us. This communication is possible over extreme distances only by three very high-performance antennas, which are distributed on the entire globe. The annual power output of the spacecraft is reduced by about 4 watts, limiting the number of systems that can be operated. Voyager 1 appears to be acquiring and transmitting science data, normally again after its jolt, at least in most cases. It's receiving commands from Earth and executing them. We may yet be able to find out what Voyager 1 really encountered in interstellar space. Subscribe now and look forward to upcoming video hits.